Hello everyone, my name is Kuzini Koma Pierre and on this channel I do videos about my life living here in Australia and I also share different life lessons that I've learned along the way. And in my last sit down video, I spoke about how I got my first corporate job here in Australia. In this video, I'm going to be talking about three tips that really changed my working life and helped me to have so many more opportunities. I want to share those three tips with you of how you can become more successful in your working life here in Australia. So if you're currently working in Australia in the corporate world or similar, or you're looking to come to Australia, hopefully these three tips will help accelerate your career and attract the jobs that you want to get. So the first tip I got from a lovely lady that I used to work with on my very first corporate job in Australia. So the kind of job that I was working, I would get a lot of emails from um, different stakeholders that I had to respond to. So because I wanted to be so efficient, I would go through the emails and, you know, really type the response really quickly so that I make sure I clear my inbox. Now, this lovely lady, she actually used to sit quite close to me. And one of the emails, like some of the emails that I was sending, like I was sending to a group and she was part of that group. She was kind enough to come to me. She walked over to my desk and she said, Nicole, I've noticed that your emails have a lot of spelling mistakes and it doesn't look very professional, especially if you're new in the workplace. So she gave me this tip. She said, make sure that whenever you are using your emails, whenever you're writing an email, your, um, your checker is on, like you know that uh, spelling check, your spell check is on in Outlook and make sure that before you send out an email, you read it back to yourself because you might identify some errors. And I tell you what, it's been 13 years in the corporate industry to this day i read my emails back and to this day i still find errors in my emails and it could be like you're trying to write um it and you write ot instead like you're responding very quickly you've got a lot on your plate and you're trying to get things out so it's inevitable that you're going to make mistakes but you must be mindful that the people on the other end of the screen that you're sending those emails are reading your emails and they're thinking, wow, this person makes a lot of errors. It also makes you not very credible in their eyes and it doesn't make you look very professional. So when I started like re like reading my emails and making sure that my spell check is on, I started to write more professional looking and sounding emails. And you know, I actually get compliments on my emails, the emails that I write, because I am naturally a very good writer and that, you know, those spell spelling mistakes were making my writing like not shine through. So if you are in the corporate industry, I would recommend that you always, always, always reread your emails to make sure that you are saying what you want to say. And sometimes, you know, when you're typing fast, you might actually repeat words or say the same thing like, you know, in another way. It doesn't make sense when someone else is reading, but when you're typing, it was making sense. So it helps you like get rid of those kind of errors. The second tip. Now, this really just transformed my career, like catapulted me from one level to the next. It was another work colleague that I was working with. Um, it was the first time I remember in my career where I wanted to go for a higher role. So because this lady was my friend in the workplace, like I was, I felt very safe to like tell her my ambitions, my intentions. And I told her that there was a certain department that I was, that I would have loved to work in because I love the work that they do. And I think, you know, for where I want to go in my career, it will give me the right exposure. And there was a manager of that area who 
was quite intimidating. So I would just, you know, always tell, you know, my work colleague, like, you know, I would love to work for that department. Like, you know, that's a really good area. It will really give me the necessary skills I need. And she said, why don't you just approach the manager and go and have a conversation that you want to work in their area? And I'm like, well, there are no jobs going. And she's like, that doesn't matter. You never know when opportunities are going to come through and you want to be the first person on their mind when something comes up. And I was like, can I really just like book a meeting, like write an email and book a meeting with this person that I don't even know and they're in a way higher position than I am? And they're like, yeah, sure. Just write them an email, tell them you want to catch up and you want to talk about like, you know, future opportunities and things that you're interested in and be very specific that you want to work in that particular area because it's going to give you the relevant skills that you want. Like, don't make it sound like, you know, flowery. Make sure that your intention is very clear. And I was so, so scared to do this, but I really, really like built up the courage to write an email to this manager who I had never met, by the way. Like I had never met this manager, like, you know, I never had a conversation. Like I had seen them, you know, in the office and everything, but I hadn't had a conversation. So I just wrote them an email and I'm like, you know, I would love to organize a catch up to talk about, you know, working in your area and things that I think that your department can offer me. And he accepted the invitation to meet. We actually caught up. I went to speak to them about, you know, my intentions, the skills that I currently possess and the skills that I know that I can improve on by working in that particular department. And this manager was so impressed by my boldness and just my clarity in just saying what I wanted and being clear on in my intentions. So they actually invited me over to some team drinks that they were having. And this was not my team, by the way, like this was in their department and they were having drinks. And I went to tell my colleague, I'm like, oh, they've invited me to these drinks. And, you know, I don't feel I should go. I don't know anyone in the team. People will be saying like, what am I doing there? Like, I'm not part of the team. And she's like, this is your opportunity. You need to attend those drinks. And I was like, okay. So that comes to tip number three. Always be open to interactions that happen outside of the workplace such as team lunches, team drinks, or any other team catch-ups that happen outside of the workplace. Because in those settings, people are a little bit more relaxed and you will feel more comfortable to talk about you know, your intentions and they can actually see your personality and if you're going to be a good fit for the team. They can see your social skills, like they can see you outside of the work environment. So I ended up attending those drinks. Um, and of course I was nervous. Like I had to introduce myself to pretty much everyone in the team because they didn't know me. And I actually made some really good connections and I was surprised at how confident I was and how confidently I was putting myself across. And I actually introduced myself to the team, like made connections and then went to speak to this manager who was also at these drinks. And during that interaction with the manager, they actually said to me, you know what, I know you've spoken to me about wanting to work in my area. I might actually have an opening coming up, so I will send you an email when that opportunity comes up and I would love for you to apply. And sure enough, after a little while, an opening came up in that area and I applied. And that manager, you know, um, because we had already spoken, they already knew my personality. They already knew that I was a good fit for the team because I had gone for drinks with the team. He had seen how I interacted with the team, that you know I could work well with these people. And my skills were also relevant for this work area. So I did well in the interview and I won the role. So all these building blocks helped me to get that job in that particular department that I really, really wanted. And because I worked in that particular department, Throughout my career, I have really drawn from the experience that I had from that particular work experience. And it has helped me advance so much in my career. So those are the three tips that I would encourage anyone in the corporate industry to do. Make sure one, 
you reread your emails, turn your spell check on, make sure that you are sounding professional in all your written communication and also in all your face-to-face -face interactions with your stakeholders, your customers, your clients. Make sure that you sound as professional as possible. Number two, make sure you are bold enough to go and you know reach out to the people who you think are going to give you the opportunities that you want. Don't be afraid. The worst thing that can happen is someone just says, no, I don't want to catch up. And you know, that's not the end of the world. Move on to the next, but be confident, bold, and courageous enough to just reach out to the people who you know have the opportunities that you want. And number three, always interact with those out of work settings where people can really see your personality shine. And you can also see for yourself if that would be an area that you would want to work in. Because when you're seeing how the people interact, you might actually see that, you know what, I don't feel these people. I don't think I'll be a good fit for this team. And you might not want to pursue your interests in that team. So, you know, it really gives you some really good insight into what to do next in your career. I hope you found those three tips useful and I hope you might be able to draw on one, two or all of them to help advance your career. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.